Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get right into this. Guardian Angels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Guardian Angels, Masters, please protect me and divine my light as I do this reading for Capricorn. Shimmy Queen, honest messages for Capricorn. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I have always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this person feel about Capricorn? How does this person feel about Capricorn? I feel like this person's not much of a talker, Capricorn, so it might be hard to know how they feel about you. Um, the cards are having a hard time even coming out. Okay, so we're getting the King of Pentacles. Wow, we're getting the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. So right away, this person feels like you two are a really good match together. You could work together or you could just be both very business savvy. Um, like run a business together, but financially, I feel like the two of you are on the same page. Like you see that, um, you know, being financially responsible and stable is important to the both of you. I feel like you're both very grounded as well. There's a lot of earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I feel like this person sees you as someone who's a, who's a goal setter and achiever, someone who, um, yeah, you're just very responsible here, but this person sees you as a really good match for them here like a perfect match actually with that king and queen of pentacles coming out it's interesting because we also have the five of pentacles here i feel like this person here's the thing capricorn this person is going to be honest with you from the start so whether you've met this person yet or not i feel like um this person speaks their truth right they may not always talk a lot because that's what I was kind of getting when I was shuffling but when they do whatever comes out of their mouth is the truth they, they, they're not a liar is what I'm getting um, it's interesting because this five of pentacles to me is coming up as this person could feel like maybe they're not financially where they want to be just yet especially if you make more money than them at this point in time they might feel like they kind of almost have to like they're trying to match you here with this king and queen of pentacles like they want to provide just as much as you provide. Um, yeah. Let me just pull a card on that. But this person feels like they've won here with you. They're on top of the world here with you. I, I feel like it would be very easy for the two of you to live a life of luxury, right? Like to not really worry about bills because I feel like when it comes to work, you're both very hardworking, you're both very dedicated, very committed, um, willing to make sacrifices in order for long-term longevity. Like I feel like you understand that. I feel like you understand like grinding really hard in order to say start a business or um, what have you will pay off in the long run. And I feel like you both get that here that king and queen of pentacles tell me about this five of pentacles please the five of pentacles can also be um you know feeling left out feeling abandoned like being yeah okay so we're getting the nine of swords and the three of pentacles so there's there's anxiety here i feel like this person um you know wonders a lot if um especially when it comes to finances i have to say if you make more than this person or you're just in your career and they're maybe they're not just yet like maybe they're um, they've switched careers or they're finishing school or they're still kind of trying to figure out exactly what it is they want i feel like they think about this a lot um they want to work together here with you right like they they see that they see you as two good partners and ab like able to um like be financially independent but also be able to come together here um 
this person could have grown up in a, in a space where money was quite important, right? Maybe they didn't come from a lot of it, but they, they were told that it's really important. So I feel like that's why that's showing up here. But in addition to that, I just feel like there's a groundedness to the both of you. You're both very um, down to earth. Like you, I feel like you even enjoy nature, the both of you. Um, but what I'm getting here is that I just feel like this person, yeah, they think a lot about stability, right? Within the connection between the both of you, but also financially um, is what I'm getting here. So lots of earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like, again, this person, when they do speak, they speak their truth, right? So um, just know that. I feel like they see you as someone who's very honest as well here. Anything? Tell me about that, Ace of Swords, please, Spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. Okay, so oh, interesting. Wow. So we're getting Sagittarius and Scorpio, excuse me, energy here. Sorry, my throat just kind of went a little bit. This person, I feel like, I've got to be real with you here, Capricorn, um, is used to kind of doing whatever they want to do when they want to do it with that Knight of Wands energy. I feel like that's coming to an end here, though. I feel like there's been a transformation here. I feel like you have been a huge part of that transformation. I feel like they met you and um, they don't want to run around. They don't want to be inconsistent. They don't want to um, not give this connection the stability and the energy and the effort that it deserves. Um, and and I want to I want to say maybe their past connections did deserve it to an extent, but they just weren't feeling it the same way. I feel like this person sees you as a perfect match here. The King and Queen of Pentacles are coming out right away. So any sort of um, you know past behaviors that this person maybe have ga had engaged in, I feel like they're going to tell you. They're going to be like, yeah, I was a player, or yeah, like I wasn't really. You know, I had surface level connections or what have you, but there's a balance here coming in. And I feel like you had a lot to do with that here. I feel like this person kind of knew, but this might sound cheesy or corny or whatever, but I honestly feel like you are that person that's, that this person is willing to change for, right? We can only change ourselves, but I feel like thus far, this person hasn't really met anyone where they're like, you know, wanting to settle down or wanting to be fully committed to. Um, that's different here with you. So any of that, those player-like tendencies or anything like that, I feel like not only will this person tell you about and be honest about, but also it's coming to an end here and there's more balance here coming into their life. Um, so let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. Whoa, right away. Page of Cups. This person's really interested in you right they're they're open-minded here i feel like this is going to come out of nowhere here with that tower energy this person thinks you're cute they're like curious about you they want to know what you're up to i feel like you pique their interest i feel like um emotionally you've kind of awakened something in them too like again like i feel like it's not that they haven't connected with other people before you it's just that it was it was what it was and it wasn't anything very deep is what i'm getting um and sometimes that just happens, right? It's not that they never cared about anyone before you. It's just that it wasn't, yeah, it just wasn't. Like, I feel like that's how this person feels. Like, it just, like, there's no need to even kind of go over why it didn't work because it just didn't work. Like, it's like, yeah, okay, I'll tell you. My, my past looked like this, but th that's not what it is now. Like, that's kind of the energy I'm getting. Um, but yeah, this person definitely wants to offer you something here. They're, they're interested in you. I feel like, like that little fish is really standing out to me. Like they're like, oh, wait a second. Like, I'm really curious here. Let me see what's going on here. Like that's the kind of energy I'm getting. Anything else for this person's actions? Okay, so we're getting the three of wands, the four of swords. The Queen of Swords and Judgment. Interesting. So this could be someone from your past here with that Judgment card. The car Judgment card is all about second chances, right? This could, if it's not someone from your past, this could also just mean that this is someone who feels like this is another, this is a chance. This is a chance at doing it right is what I'm getting here. I feel like this person, they could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because they, they're a very big thinker, right? I don't think that they talk a lot, but when they do, what they say is meaningful. And I feel like they're very logical. They're a problem solver with this energy here. Um, and they're kind of, they're waiting for something here. Tell me about this Three of Wands. They're definitely going to reach out to you. Tell me about the Three of Wands, please, Spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. But they're waiting for something here. The Two of Pentacles. They're juggling something. 
Um, they're managing the chariot, cancer energy, the eight of wands. So there could be a move, like a physical move that this person is doing. So in order to be closer to you, perhaps, um, you know, I feel like this person wants to move forward here with you. There's going to be communication and there's going to be like a lot of, there's going to be a lot happening <laughs> all at once. So if this person lives at a great distance from you, I feel like that could change quite quickly. Um, but they're kind of going back and forth about it. Like I feel like they're, they're thinking a lot about it. Tell me about judgment, please, spirit. Yeah, so expect a lot of communication here. Um, interesting, five of swords. Anything else about judgment? Expect a lot of communication here and like fast movement, like things happening quite quickly. So if this is someone from your past, you already have history with, um, you know, and they reach out saying, I'd like to, you know, have another chance or like what have you, I feel like it's going to move quite quickly. Um, but the physical distance I feel could be a, yeah, like you could even move in together is what I'm getting. But the judgment card is clarified here by the five of swords, also the queen of wands and the star. So if this person played mind games before, um, you know, even I have to say it because I, I want to be clear that this could be a possibility, but it's not going to be applicable for everyone. If there was um, a third energy here, I feel like, you know, if you separated, for instance, and this person was with someone else and now they're not with that person anymore, I feel like that's no more um, is what I'm getting here. If they kind of yeah, or if they self-sabotage this, that's not going to be for everyone, that third energy. So don't take it if it doesn't resonate. Um, but if they self-sabotaged here, if they kind of pushed you away or like as soon as you started to get close, they like they they uh, messed it up somehow. I feel like they're hoping that you can heal that, right? They find you very attractive here. They do. Let me just pull on that Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands, please, Spirit, right away. Okay, we're getting that tower energy. So the main message I'm getting is that this is going to come out of nowhere here. I feel like this person finds you very attractive. They find you like someone like you have it all. You've got it all going on here. You, you do a lot. You get a lot done and you do it well. Like you look really good doing it too. So I feel like you came out of nowhere for this person. I feel like this person's going to come out of nowhere to you. And there's a lot of communication, a lot of movement happening here. Um, that's the main message I'm getting. So only take that third energy if it resonates to you um, and they want to heal that, heal from that um, with you. But that's not the main message I'm getting. I'm mostly getting that this person just wants another chance and it's going to come out of nowhere here. Um, yeah. So we have Scorpio, Aries, or sorry, Scorpio, Aquarius energy, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, and some Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see their intentions. What is this person's intentions with Capricorn, please, Spirit? Yeah, so they, they want to heal this here with you. Woo! The Empress. There's that Divine Feminine. Look at that, the Ten of Cups. This person wants to treat... I feel like, they, especially if this is someone that you, you've already connected with, they want to treat you the way they sh that you should have been treated. Um, but they see you as, as it. There's no better than you with this Empress card. They're asking me to go to the other deck, so I will. Um, usually when I do that, there's cards on the board that need to come out again. Um, but Taurus energy here, yeah. This person wants to wants you to know how much they appreciate you is what I'm getting from this. Tell me more about this person's intentions, please, Spirit, for Capricorn. Also, if you are a parent, I feel like this person sees you as a really good parent. Um, also, if getting pregnant is a possibility, just be aware of that. I feel like this person um, could want to start a family with you if that's, you know, on the table for the both of you. We're getting the two of swords, the five of swords. This person self-sabotages is what I'm getting here. They want another chance for self-sabotaging before their intentions are coming. It's coming out again. Tell me about this two and five of swords, the knight of wands, that that inconsistent energy what is this tell me more the star you're it's the same energy coming out here it's the exact same energy the healing this person's hopeful that um any sort of player like tendencies or inconsistencies or mind games or self-sabotage that they have if they have played that 
in the past indecision, they're hopeful that you, they can heal this here with you. It's the exact same thing. That's their actions towards you. Now this is their intentions. That's why the, you know, these are the same cards coming out. It's this person wants another chance here. So they're going to be truthful here. So if this person was like inconsistent with you, I feel like they don't want to do that anymore. Like they're trying to heal from that. They're trying to get past that. It's almost like they want you to move on with them, right? And here's the thing. Everyone needs different things in order to, to move on, right? I'm not saying just get over it. And if this person says just get over it, I don't, you know, I don't agree with that, but that's everyone's journey is different. But what I'm getting is this person sees you as it here, Capricorn, like you're it. Like there's no better than you with this divine feminine. This person was indecisive or self-sabotaged or just like made you feel like one day they're in and one day they're out. They want to heal that here with you. That's their intention. They don't want to do that. Like Again, with the Ace of Swords about how they feel, they want to talk to you about the transformation here of not being a player anymore. So if that was with you or with that, with, you know, um, not even with you, but in the past, it's the same thing. The same thing is coming out. This person has, they want to change. And I feel like you have been the catalyst for that, right? People can only change when they truly want to. Um, I just feel like this person had no reason to change and you are helping them see a reason is what I'm getting. Anything else for this person's intentions? So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Aquarius, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's not a lot of water though. Seven of Cups, same thing. So if there was like indecision, if there was confusion, um, or if there was other options involved, right? Like I feel like all of that is they want to heal. They want to heal this. The two of wands, yeah. They, they look to the future and I feel like they see you here is what I'm getting. They're hopeful that you're on the same page. They're hopeful that you accept them. Let's see the potential outcome. What is the potential outcome between, for, or, I almost called you Virgo. Capricorn and this person. Look at that. The Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups. There's that water energy we were looking for. Um, yeah. This is wish fulfillment. I feel this person, you are it for them. You know, they close their eyes, think of a perfect person, and, and there you are, right? There's the Ace of Pentacles. They want a new beginning here. So if they made you feel like this was not that important before for some reason or what have you. That's not how this person actually feels. And they want a brand new beginning here with you. They, you make them very happy. I feel like they make you happy too. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Six of Swords. Yeah, they want to move to calmer waters here. They do. There's that emperor on the bottom matching with the empress this person wants a brand new beginning new roots right a brand new seed a brand new beginning um leaving the past in the past and again i don't depend and maybe you are the type of person to be like yeah okay like we don't even need to talk about the past let's just start fresh but if that's not the case and there needs to be a conversation obviously like do what's best for you but i do feel like there's this there's just this energy of like literally fresh slate like clean slate, like not, yeah, just fresh, brand new. Anything else for the potential? Woo, Capricorn, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. So you're getting two fours, so look out for fours, but you're also getting the Nine and the Ten of Cups. Oh, and you're getting the Nine of Pentacles, so Nine, Nine, Four, Four. Look out for those synchronicities. But whenever my cards start to sync up, it's also Spirit's way of telling me like this is a significant relationship in your life, right? Like this, there's a lot of happiness here, right? I feel like neither of you really want to let this go. But what's interesting is that there's still this sense of independence. Like I still feel like the two of you still do your own thing. You still have your own schedule, your routine. You know, sometimes when couples get together, it's like it's so much fun and so... Um, intoxicating is the word that's coming up for me that you spend all your time together and you kind of like forget about your own responsibilities or your friends or what have you that's not what this is I feel like there's there's a healthy balance between spending time together and being with each other versus like still doing your own thing and there's a there's a lot of happiness here 
So I feel like if there is willingness to kind of just start fresh and start anew, there's a lot of happiness here. Like, especially if you want to have a family together, like a like family energy is really coming through for me, having children, um, you know, or maybe just combining families if you already have children, excuse me, whatever that might look like, but there's a lot of happiness here, a lot of um, emotional fulfillment. So let's see if we can get some further clarification here for you, Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for Capricorn. Okay, so we got Peacock. Beware of great pride. We all can be prideful at times, right? So it could be you, it could be this person, but just it's coming out for a reason. We also got younger man. Dealing's a relationship with a younger man. So you could be dealing with a younger man. You could be the younger man. Take it as it resonates. Okay, we got dagger, fear, worries, tense situations. But then we got scales, keep your life in balance. Not unsuccessful plans. Turkey, someone is behaving stupidly. <laughs> Torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. And broom, new home, new attitude. So I do feel like, I feel like the communication especially, there's been issues around that. Someone was behaving stupidly here. There was like fears around, you know, the connection even. But especially with that, that um, chariot energy, I feel like there could be a new home here and like a brand new beginning is what I just keep getting. Uh, messages for Capricorn here, please, Spirit. And if you feel like your person was behaving stupidly, I feel like they know this too. We got hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. That's always needed. Coins, money will be coming to you. There's that king and queen of pentacles. I feel like, yeah, the two of you together make really good decisions financially. We got tower, solid foundation, success with effort. Messages for Capricorn, please. Thank you. We got crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. I'm telling you, I, I keep getting this family energy or like children involved in some way. We also got claw, be careful, do not take risks. Okay, spirit, messages for Capricorn. Look at that. Paradise, happiness and joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, honeymoon phase. Beautiful. Yeah, a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm going to take all of those because they all fell out. Okay, so we got girl with a snake. Charmed or used, enable boundaries. So take that as it resonates. It's an, I don't feel like this is going to apply for everyone here. We got the dragonfly, lighthearted and adapt, finding out and change, things coming to light and heal. We got heartbroken, deeply hurt and sad, feeling lost, grieving in despair. We did get key on a ring and backstabbing. So I mean, here's the thing. This could have happened in your connection. You could just know that this person has done this before. Maybe this was you, what have you, and there's fear around it occurring again right um many options unconventional one night stands string along heartbreak and pain separation and loss deception and lies shocking attack like i do feel like these are all coming out for a reason here um girl with a snake just stood out to me and i feel like there could be an external energy who communicates to you or your person about something that didn't actually happen i don't know why that's coming through but it's coming through um, but take this as it resonates. We're also getting wedding rings, union and marriage, soul connection, everlasting love, devotion. So, I mean, yeah, just, yeah. Okay. Spirit messages for Capricorn, please. Whoa. Okay. We got, I couldn't let you get close to me. There's that self-sabotage. I replay our conversations over and over. I know I was a distraction from your pain and I love you. Oh, they're telling me one more. One more for Capricorn, please, Spirit. Thank you. I know that I crossed the line with you. I am seeing sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. 
Let's see here. Spirit messages for Capricorn. We got reconsider. So especially if this, I mean, the card of second chances did come out, right? We got recovery. And we got ask your angels. I am seeing improving health on the bottom. Okay, let's see. Spirit messages for, oh, okay. We got conclusions are within reach and have faith in your dreams. So oh, they're asking me to go one more, so I will. The energy is gaining momentum. Okay. So let's go here. Spirit messages for Capricorn, please. Thank you. We got flexible, number 19. Okay, so I will read that for you. In every relationship, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigid, rigidity, that's always so hard for me to say, is what's required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time, do you? It's okay to come to a happy compromise. You can still get your needs met. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. The appearance of this card in a reading could also signal that you have met someone new who may not be your type, quote unquote, but who will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you. Be flexible. You'll be happy you made that choice. So right away when I was reading that, it could be someone who's not your usual type. Again, the work thing was standing out for me. So this could be someone that you work with or maybe you're in the same field with or something like that. Um, let's see. Okay, so these can be initials of you, this person, um, numbers you've been seeing, take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it's not your reading. So we got G, O, A, X, the number four, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, Capricorn, so I do hope something here resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so much for all your beautiful energy. Love and light.